Backstage at Measure for Measure, oh, Alice is Alice, on stage. Alice, we've done a vocal warm-up. What happens now? So now we're doing a fight warm-up. Mick and Tom are fighting. Tom punches Mick. Tom kicks David in the chest. Mick slaps David. Tom punches David. Tom bows. Mick does a thumbs up. Okay, enough of the violence. Let's go to a dance warm-up. Mel, Patrick, Sophie, Tom and Hannah are on stage going through the waltz. Cooney, Sophie and Amy are on stage. They point and wave at the camera. Amy is in her dressing room. She cleans her face with cotton wool, then moisturises, puts on some primer and some foundation with a sponge. She does her eyes with some eyeshadow and puts powder on, then blusher and gives a thumbs up to camera. Amy is filming Cooney, Lucy and Fee in the wig room. Cooney reads from the Trivial Pursuit card. Which cartoon animal gave his name to a lunar module? Pluto! No. Oh. Snoopy was Snoopy. Topical for the for the old vlog. Okay. Which Shakespeare character has a mum called Gertrude? Uh oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. The camera is pointed at the mirror. Now you can see me as well. Cooney is filming Amy getting her hair done by feet. Cooney films from a high angle. Now, Trig, you look like a child now, though. Amanda looks over. What, next to me because I'm so old? <laughs> no. Charming. What's your holiday? Like, let's give the people what they want. Cooney turns the camera around so all you can see is Cooney's face. <laughs> Ask me a question, Trig. Um, Oh, what's your favourite TV quiz show? My TV quiz show? Um, probably Pointless. Why is that? Oh, it's really embarrassing. Uh, I I won TV's Pointless. How many times have I heard this story? Oh, it's only, only 20 times. I think I've heard it more, James. Yeah. He's heard it more. Pointless trophy. It's much smaller than it looks on TV. I've lost it now. I don't know where. I don't know where that's gone. Mum's probably sold it or something in a car boot sale. I might make you one for your birthday. Thanks, mate. Amy's hair is half pinned up. What's your favourite thing about Measure for Measure, James Cooney? Fee. Yeah. She's my favourite thing about Measure. Uh, hey. Cooney points and winks at the camera. You don't even have to be in the wig. No. I just like to come down and have a chat. How's it feel to kiss me every night on stage, Amy Trigg? Well, I tried to get out of it. <laughs> Amy smirks at Cooney. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Amy poses for the camera. Yeah. And she does a few dance moves. Cut to Graham in the corridor. Have a good show, Graham. Thank you. He looks seductively at the camera. Amy's in the wings. Lex pulls a funny face behind her. <laughs> this is Lex. <laughs> the show has just started. I'm waiting for my first entrance with this sign. Amy looks worried and shushes the camera. We've got some quick changes coming through here. So they run through really quickly. Hannah, Let's Sophie and Mel run past the camera. This woman and Hannah are about to go on stage. Hannah waves to the camera and they leave to go on stage. Sophie, Amy and Hannah are in the wings with their backs to the camera singing into a microphone with their headphones on. Lex does a little bit of ballet behind them. Cut to Amy and Sophie taking their makeup off in their dressing room. <laughs> I wonder if she left this on on purpose for us. <laughs> We've come back into the dressing room and um, what is this, like church music? Definitely Lucy's religious playing. nunnery music. Lucy's not here, but she's left us with the sound of, of the nun. nunnery. And we've just sung as nuns. So quite frankly, it feels like a little bit of an overload. <laughs> <laughs> Especially after my mishap in the lift. Sophie did something inappropriate and I got it on camera. But it won't be featuring. <laughs> To the quick change area, Roxy holds up a label that says Amy Labour Makeup. She then applies pale face makeup to Amy's face, making her look all pale. It's a strong look. Next up, she applies bags under Amy's eyes to make her look very tired. And Hannah pops in and smiles at the camera. Amy celebrates for some reason, don't quite know why. Roxy messes up Amy's hair. Next up, it's time for some glycerin. Roxy applies glycerin to Amy's face to make it look like she's all sweaty. Amy is in a hospital gown, which really completes the look. Tom pops into the shot. He gets closer and closer to the camera until, yeah, he's very close, and he leaves. Roxy sprays Amy with water. They laugh and then give a thumbs up to the camera. Cut to Lucy, Cooney, and Sophie in the dressing room. Team dressing room 101 and Cooney, what do you do in the interval? Uh, I come down and chat to you lot. Yay. Hey. 
I listen to James. Tune <laughs> talking about things. Um, Lucy. I drink sparkling water out of a can. Such a nun. <laughs> <laughs> Amy is alone in the dressing room. She is in her tiny Tim costume, which you might remember from the previous vlog. She is playing with a cup and ball and keeps getting it in until eventually she doesn't. Uh, cut to Graham in the wings. So, uh, we going behind the scenes with my special journey to go under the stage. Come on. Graham turns the camera around so we get his point of view. David waves at the camera and then Amy waves at the camera. Graham then leaves the wings and goes through a door into a dimly lit corridor. He goes down some steps. It's actually a little bit creepy. Graham looks at the camera, his eyes wide. There is a sign that says substage. So actually I should say, this is my can of Pepsi that makes me burp on stage. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. So uh, this is why I'm walking around with a can of Pepsi. I'm not just a silly person. Graham goes through another set of doors. There are signs around saying, caution and pull this door first and fire door. Dramatic. We're now substaged and it's very dimly lit. There are loads of flight cases and wires and boxes. I don't know what any of them do. So here we go into being Barnardine. See you in a bit, boys. Graham is now just below the hatch in the, in the stage floor. You can just about see the grill. Graham looks at the camera. <laughs> Graham speaks into a microphone. A pox on your throats! Who makes that noise here? Eh? What are you? Your friend, sir, the hangman. You must be so good, sir, to rise and be put to death. Away, you rogue, away! I'm sleepy. Graham pulls a face at the camera. He grabs his can of Pepsi, does a cheers to the camera, opens it. And he downs it. Cut to Graham looking at the camera. It's worth saying that Graham doesn't look his best. His teeth are all like brown and yellow and he's got mud all over his face and face tattoos and prison outfit. Oh, David is climbing down through the hatch. Graham follows him. David looks at the camera and laughs. Cut to Graham back in the wings. So that was the journey of Barnaby. Cut to Amy in her dressing room doing her makeup yet again. She's putting on some eyeshadow and some eyeliner, followed by some mascara. A bit of foundation and powder, and then we cut to Amy in the quick change area. This is my final bit in the show. I am about to go on stage holding a baby, give James Cooney a smooch, and then get wheeled off. I get wheeled in almost every scene I'm in, so I don't really need to remember any of my blocking. <laughs> Perks of being disabled. You right there, Mel? Mel is sat in the wings in a corset and suspenders reading a book. <laughs> Cut to Mel and Amy holding their prop babies. What's yours called? Philippa Jacob. <laughs> What's yours called? Greg. I don't think Greg knows that we named him after them. But he will now. Congrats, Greg. Cut to Graham in the wings. Okay, so here comes Amy's amazing moment that needed to be noted in the vlog. So prepare yourself. Here she comes. Any second. Here she comes. Amy is wheeled on stage by Patrick. She holds a baby. What a we see the cast entering the stage for their bows. They bow and they exit. Fade to black. Cut to Cooney and Lucy in the dressing room. Lucy throws a sweet into Cooney's mouth. He catches it and celebrates. <laughs> a really good lunge there. Cut to black. 